these are the uh, uh, learning objectives of today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow. Let's quickly go through. We've introduced dumb zones, and maybe, if time permits, introduce V over Q. Tomorrow, we'll look at details of V over Q and the clinical implications. And at the end, we'll look at uh, physiological dead space and this thing called shunt. Okay, this is like this, isn't it? This is the ground floor, the first floor. Ground, first, second. I, I said that the water pump should be around here. P for pump, right? If you were to switch on this pump, let's switch it on. Plus is you've turned it on. The pipe of the of this pump will bring water to this area with ease. What about the ground floor? More ease. More ease because of gravity. Gravity. It will literally drop. The water will just drop to the ground floor. No problems here because the gravity will assist it. What about this area here? Well, the problem is, was actually the area above the level of the pump. That's why you got the pump. We installed water pumps in houses to get water to the upper areas of the house. The ground areas and basements don't have a much of a problem. So this flow from this point upwards, this is where the effort will come. Yes, because it is anti-gravity. It's going against gravity. Yes? Okay. Very, very similar situation happens in the lungs and the heart. Okay? If this is the lung, let me just make one lobe. Okay, this is the heart. Somewhere around here. Okay. This is the pulmonary vessel entering through the hilum of the lung. Hilum of the lung roughly is in the, again, I'm not going for anatomical detail here, but hilum is somewhere around <clears throat> this area, the middle. So you can imagine it's a very similar situation. The vessel entering here, lower areas of the lung will have very little or zero problems with blood flow, with Q. No big issue, no problem at all actually. In fact, if I may say that blood flow is a lot in the lower areas of the lung, from now on called the base of the lung, as compared to the apex of the lung or apical areas, I would be, I would be accurate. More blood flow is at the bottom than at the top. I made it small because there is less blood flow naturally on the top areas and in the middle it's it's uh, okay it's uh, normal all right a lot all right less questions this is simply the effect of gravity okay Blood is a complex liquid, isn't it? It's actually a tissue. But just to compare it with the air, it's a liquid. It behaves like this. Effect of gravity on blood is such that we have different areas of the lung according to Q. We call them lung zone. So, lung is not one homogeneous structure when it comes to blood flow. Because of the effect of gravity in the upright individual, there will always be blood tending to favor <clears throat> the area lower than the entry of the blood vessels, the base area. At the level of the heart, they will be all right, all right blood. Okay? However, as you 
climb upstairs, upstairs, there will be less of perfusion as compared to the lower areas. Is this okay? Would air also have a similar distribution? It does. It does. And I always find this, this misconception in every first year. That's why I mentioned liquid. What is the difference between liquid and gases? The molecules are just spread wider in gases. You can make a gas from water, can't you? And then condenses back to liquid. Then evaporate it into vapor. Then condense it back to liquid. So what's the difference? It's two different states of water, isn't it? It's just that the molecules in gases are spread apart, apart, more apart than they are in liquid, right? So the effect of gravity on liquid is more profound than it is on, liquid, on gas. However, gases also get affected by gravity, right? So we are giving air into this, this lung as well. It's not just blood. We are giving it air all the time through the trachea and that also enters around the same point, the hilum. So this is the entry point for the airways as well. So now just make the concept right here so that our job becomes easy later on. That air also tends to favor the effect of gravity, the lower areas, then the middle and less on the upper area. However, this effect is much, much, much less as compared to liquid or blood. Okay. Technical correct, technically, technically correct. So if I may summarize, <clears throat> maybe the last point for today. However, the very, very key point now, the summary of the whole, whole thing. If I were to divide the lung, and please note this very, very clearly now. If I were to divide these zones that we have described today into roughly three areas, the basal areas, the one at the level of the heart and the areas above the level of the heart, roughly those areas. Remember, there is no, it's not a geographical thing or an, an anatomical landmark. It's not. It's a physiological concept. These things don't exist as physical landmarks. There is no marking on your lung that this is the start of this area or that. It's just concept here. So you throw in liquid and you throw in air and then gravity and the pressure exerted by the heart does the rest. If I say that perfusion and ventilation is more, both are more at the basal level of the lungs as compared to the apical regions. Is this something that you would agree with? I'll say it again, because tomorrow I'll be moving from this point onwards. I won't explain the whole thing. So ask me a question today. Both perfusion and ventilation are tend to be more here than here and certainly than here. So in a said it another way, as you go from base to apex, as you go from the lower areas of the lung to, towards the higher areas of the lung, say you're trekking up, perfusion and ventilation both decrease. Chika? Abhi ne hum divide nahi karen, abhi hum divide kal karen. Abhi hum sirf ye dekhen, 
कि अगर इफ यू टेक वेंटिलेशन सेपरेटली एंड ब्लड फ्लो सेपरेटली एंड जस्ट ट्रैक अप अप फ्रॉम बॉटम टू अप व्हाट वुड यू फाइंड से इन वेंटिलेशन इन केस ऑफ वेंटिलेशन इफ लंग वाज ओनली पंप्ड विद एयर एंड देन यू आर अलाउड टू गो फ्रॉम बेस टू एपेक्स व्हाट वुड यू फाइंड ओनली वेंटिलेशन in the standing up individual there will be more slightly more ventilation down as you go up it will slightly decrease because again gravity affects air please get this clear in your head it does affect air but to a very little extent as compared to liquids and as compared to solids solid pe kafi effect hai because it's all molecules are compact and the effect of gravity is very very uh uh thank you direct as compared to if i were to pour water okay again if there was no friction etc etc the feather and the block of steel would drop at the same rate but we are this is not a physics class okay now if you are absolutely certain about the following conclusion <clears throat> that as you go from base to apex beta there is a reason i'm repeating this so ek minute ek the whole building of v over q stands on your understanding of what i'm saying and repeating when you go from base to apex blood flow decreases this is an obvious point just agree with me that this also affects ventilation just agree it happens it is like is it's right there they did not emphasize effect of gravity on gases in in your physics class earlier they should have but it happens like this it's less much less than liquids now as i already said the effect of gravity on liquids is much more than gas so this change will be more profound in the basal areas of the lung for liquid than apex again there will be much more q at the base than v i'll remind i am available today for all the basic questions not tomorrow tomorrow i'll assume that you know this stuff and of course you will have this this video but i'm right here live to explain it to you first let's revise when you compare both of them together let's let's lump them together q and v are brothers they reside here they have much much they have a lot of clones there's a lot of v and q at the basal areas as compared to to the apical area something that i have i think mentioned 10 times now okay this is okay now you do one other analysis a, a bit more complex can we compare them individually not as a combo can we compare okay if i were to compare v with q here and then v with q here is there a difference between the patterns of their distribution yeah. Yeah. big time because gravity tends to affect fluids more than air something that you're stuck on right now let's use your confusion to explain something the q's at the bottom of the lung will be much higher then the v's now we are talking about the region the q's here will be much higher than the v's and here the v's will be much higher than the q's so the gravity acts less on the air yes it does something that you now are clear about there are it's like you are looking at uh, Manala, some people are actually talking during this particular lecture. It's amazing. It's amazing, amazing how stupidity works. Very uh, bizarre. It's it's like looking at uh, two things, uh, it, the same thing, from different angles. One angle is looking at at them together, then comparing this togetherness with this togetherness, and you see a pattern. then when you are satisfied with this then you say okay but these are two different things isn't it 
Yes, they are two different things. So let's separate them out. Let's pull them apart and compare them together and then move to the apical regions. So when you do that, what you see is as you go along from here to here, Q drops more than V. Final point, if I were to derive an equation here and here, this is where the V over Q comes. It, it should clarify things better. Absolute clarification will come in tomorrow's lecture, which inshallah should start on time because we are short on time. Okay. If you were to calculate V over Q here, what would you get? Don't say it. Don't say it. First, just appreciate the question. Keeping all the gravity influences on blood and ventilation together, now just work out if there is a ratio calculated. Because this ratio will tell you how they are behaving together. Won't it? This is where the money is. This is where the question is. So if V over Q is calculated at the base of the lung and then V over Q is calculated at the apex of the lung, how would it different? How would it be different? I say it may be the case. I may be maybe Lagaro. Please remember this may be. I will tomorrow clarify this maybe. But maybe it approaches zero somewhere at the most basic basal level of the base of the lung. So the lung is actually like this. So if this is the base, it's not, I mean, a bit like this. So if this is the entire base, this area is the base of the base, if I may say so. It's really the lowest terrene part of the lung. Of the entire base, this corner here is the base, the most lower part of the base. Get it? So maybe right here, the V over Q may approach zero. How? How can it approach zero? Yes. Yes. Because this is the area where the gravity is blindingly too much. It's, it's, this is the point closest to gravity, uh, the floor, isn't it? As compared to this point, which is farthest away from, from, the, uh, from the floor or from gravity point of view. So the gravity would be really harsh here. So the Q will be too much as compared to V. It will always decrease the value of the ratio. It's mathematics. Now, what is this sign? Infinity. Why is it infinity over here? Because again, gravity impedes, retards blood flow. So you will, you will normally have in these areas, in these areas, you will normally have less blood flow as compared to air flow. So V over Q will always be towards the higher side during the, uh, in the apical areas, upper areas of the lung. Yes. However, there may be a situation that the most apex, really small apex, topmost notch, dot, whatever, of the lung may have a situation where this is almost zero. So anything divided by zero is infinity. This is mathematics only. Okay? Not infinity as in Lam Hadoot. La Madhus is only Vanza. Him. But infinity here is just to tell you that the, what you call it denominator, right? That the denominator is really, 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 really less than the numerator, the one on top. Okay? So with this, we conclude today's lecture, but please.